Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara and I am here with another Animal Wisdom EFT video and today we are tapping on the wisdom from the gorilla. And the gorilla is really about um, having gentle strength and quiet power, quiet strength, gentle power, loving passionately and fully without smothering and generously taking care of the next generation, feeling good and relaxed and connected to your family. So um, there's a lot here that's great that hopefully we feel, but sometimes we don't. And so sometimes there's some stuff inside of us that gets in the way of fully expressing this wisdom from the gorilla. And that's what we're here to do today is to clear that out and I'll clear the channels so that we can express more of our gorilla nature. We can express more of that gorilla-ness inside of us that's inside of everybody. Our own quiet strength, our own gentle power, our own loving and compassionate nature, our generous giving and um, nurturing ways of being in the world. So we're going to do some EFT tapping. And um, if you're new to EFT tapping, just follow along. Tap where I tap. Say what I say. And if you need to modify the words to make them fit you, go right ahead. That makes it more powerful. And always take responsibility for your own well-being. When in doubt, keep tapping. So if you uncover something that feels pretty intense, keep tapping. And know that you can always go and get help. Um, with whatever emotional um, upset or challenge that you're facing. So there is help out there. So um, with that, let's get into it. We're going to just jump right in and start tapping on the wisdom of the gorilla and anything that might be in our way of expressing that. So we're going to start with the stuff that's blocking us from really living that quiet strength and gentle power. So starting up at the eyebrow, we're gonna just tap on feeling misunderstood, like we have to prove ourselves. We have to show our strength. We have to demonstrate our power. We don't trust our power. Other people don't trust my power they don't see the strength within me. I feel like I have to prove myself and make sure everybody knows about my power and strength. But then I feel like a bully and too pushy and bitchy or misunderstood. Sometimes it makes me feel angry and hurt. Why can't they just understand me? Why can't they just see who I am? I wish they could see the real me. And so I might get over emotional or overreactive. And so just tapping on those feelings of the need to prove to demonstrate, to show off. I'm burping because this is resonating with me. That's me releasing my blocks. So if you're burping or yawning or anything like that, that's the energy blocks being released. It's the breaking of those energetic bonds. So it's good news. Um, it's a little bit socially awkward or embarrassing to burp or yawn, but it's good for when you're tapping. So. It means you're getting to the good stuff and you're clearing stuff and you're letting go of those misunderstandings that aren't your truth, that aren't who you are. So let's keep going with that. The anger, the hurt of not feeling seen or feeling misunderstood or not accepted just as I am. I have to be somebody else or look like somebody else or act in a way that I don't want to that's not comfortable or real or true for me all this pressure to perform to be something I'm not I'm letting it go I just want to relax and be myself, 
knowing that I have the strength and power within me. My strength and power is inside of me. It'll be there when I need it. I have the confidence in myself, even if other people don't see it. I see it. I see me. I see my truth. I see my strength. And I don't have to go shouting it from the rooftops or proving it to anybody. I can just be me and know that I have the strength and the power that I need inside of me. So another aspect of the gorilla wisdom is the ability to relax and enjoy our relationships and our family. So let's tap on a few things that might be blocking that for us. Some of us have the belief that we have to earn the right to relax. We have to do before we can just be. Doing comes first. Taking care of others comes first. I have to prove myself by accomplishments. There's no time to relax. No downtime. No time to slow down. I'm just too busy. I got to keep going and I can't stop. Pushing ourselves. Pushing too far, too hard, too long. Feeling tired and worn out. Running on adrenaline. I give myself permission to slow down. I give myself permission to relax every day. <laughs> it's okay for me to slow down and turn off and relax. I don't need to control my activity output. My activity comes in waves up and down. I follow the natural rhythms of my energy and activity, balancing times of activity with times of relaxation and rest. I don't have to justify my existence by being busy. My busyness doesn't prove my worthiness. I see that now. I'm becoming more like the gorilla. Quiet, gentle, relaxed, loving, compassionate, peaceful, strong, open, free to be me. Take a deep breath and let it out. Letting go of all those blocks, limitations, resistance, to really living and expressing the wisdom of the gorilla, that quiet strength and gentle power, loving nature, relaxing, enjoying life. Take a deep breath. Feel that gorilla power and peace moving through you. Take the gorilla with you as you go through the rest of your day. You let the tapping come to completion. Take a deep breath and let it out. Just feel that shift in your body from doing and performing and producing to being, receiving, relaxing, and take that with you.
as you go through your day. Take the gorilla wisdom with you. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Bye, everybody.